Okay, check it out. This is Phil from New York Rocks. We're down here at the Kiss Expo, the 2014 Kiss Expo in New Jersey. I'm here with no other than Mark Britton. Mark is, your oh. uncle was Bill Coyne. Okay. All right, um, let's talk about that. Now, where are you from? Go ahead. I'm originally from Yorktown Heights, New York, right. in um, Westchester County. Um, I, when I was younger, I pretty much frequented over at um, New City when Kiss first started out. Um, and um, I basically got to see uh, every, all the great shows from the beginning. And now, Bill was your first uncle? Like, you were real close? You lived near each other? Um, Bill was probably more like a father to me, yeah. to tell you the truth, when I was growing up. So, yeah. there's always gifts coming to the door yeah. and everything else. So, you know. I wish he was my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people probably did. <laughs> you, know? you were very fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. You know, you've you know, you seen so much history of rock and roll besides Kiss. You know, yeah. he worked with so many other people and he was in the entertainment business. Let's talk a little about Bill and how his influences were for Kiss and, and music and TV and everything, right? You could talk a little about that, right? I, th I think Bill probably would have made it either way. There, right, right. You know, if he, he would have gone on to be a famous producer, if yeah. he would have gone on to... You know, man, you know, as he did go on to manage bands and stuff like right. that. But I mean, he did a lot of other stuff. He did a lot of the Kennedy stuff, you know, right. at the beginning and everything. He started um, in TV, didn't he? Do like he TV work. Started in TV. Right. He actually started in radio. Right. So I mean, when he when he was 14 years old, he actually got arrested wow. for an illegal radio station. He didn't get arrested, but yeah. the FCC came to the house, and my grandfather cut the plug. But he had gone out in there, Massachusetts, broadcasting right. way past the limits and stuff. And um, but the drive was there. The yeah. drive was there, right? Yep, the drive was definitely yeah. there. He had everybody yeah. in town. You know, he's advertising for all these businesses and right. stuff. And um, the FCC actually showed up the house and cut the plug on him. <laughs> that was years so, ago. Everything is yeah. a little bit more loose and free. You know what I mean? Yep. Now these yep. days. Well. Okay. Uh, you, you know, he, he did a lot in college too, as well. You know, he yeah, worked yeah. at the coffee houses and everything like wow. that. It was pretty much way before his time. Um, yeah. During the you summer, lived in the same number, neighborhood, right? Um, not in the same neighborhood, okay. but he, he lived in New City. We lived in Yorktown okay. Heights, New York. Right, so, right. but um, he used to always come over. You know, they're pretty much broke when Kiss first started out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he did a spaghetti commercial actually, right. and. Um, well, the next thing I know, we have an 18-wheeler pulling up to the house because he got paid in spaghetti sauce, actually, wow. for doing the, doing the um, show and stuff. And um, I guess it was him, Sean, and Leon Delaney, actually. Yeah. And, um, you know, they shot this thing, and they got paid in spaghetti sauce. So every, every week, it was like it, something was made with spaghetti. When at he least first started times. out with Kiss, I heard that he had maxed out his credit card, his American Express. <laughs> and when they were playing in Queens, Kiss yeah. played in the Coventry uh, yeah. Club. In Queens, that's when they first started out, and then the hotel diplomat, and he like gave it all. He, he believed in Kiss, that you know, and then I'm gonna put it yeah. all out for him. For if it wasn't for your, for your uncle, your uncle. Yeah. I mean, you could be your father because you look just like him, right? right? Yeah. If it wasn't for him, man, you know what I mean? Yeah. I don't think Kiss would have became what they became because he molded them, man. If it, he just I, I knew what to do. Cool. He knew he what knew to do. What to Sean do. Yeah, knew yeah. what to do. Yeah. I mean, the, I mean, the band's great. Yeah. yeah. I mean, the band started out. I can still remember going to see him the first big show at Beacon right. Theater. And I can still remember my uncle told me, oh, I charged yes. 10000 on my American Express card. Wow. I can remember my mother on the way home saying, oh I think God. Bill lost his fucking marbles. <laughs> $10,000, you know, that was a hell of a lot of money back in those oh. in 70s. Because that was like 70, what, 2, 70. No, like it was probably around 74, 75, oh, I think, yeah. actually. So, that we were at, actually at Beacon Theater. I mean, um, no, there, 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 was, uh, yeah. there was a lot of stuff that went on in the house before that. You know, New City, where they re did a lot of recording and stuff. Yeah, yeah. And fooling around, they also had the other studio as well. So, yeah, yeah. you know, they're back and forth pretty much. And they did a lot of stuff with Sean on the yeah. side and stuff. But, you know, it was just a great time growing up as a kid. You yeah. know, I got you to see a lot of You all the things. concerts. I'm like, oh, oh, you had the best tickets yeah, I, I was, backstage. I always had right? great tickets. I always got to see a lot of other bands. You had the hook. You had the hook. You had the hook. <laughs> no, no. Hey, it was fun, you know. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. but you know, tickets didn't cost as much. I'm surprised as they you're still alive. Yeah, I must have had so much fun, right? 
You're yeah. lucky, right? Uh, well, I used to scalp a lot of the tickets, you know, they used to give me, and we used to go out and have a pretty good party, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to get myself in a lot of trouble, but. Oh, cool, <laughs> hey, no. you're, you're still with us, man. No. You look great. No. Yeah. All right, so, well, what, what's going on now? I, I know you, 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 how do you keep this legacy alive? You know, Bill left us, unfortunately, he passed away yep. a little bit before his time, you know? Yep. And you know what I mean? He would have been like really proud of what he built, like, you know, from the beginning right now. I mean, I know he was for years after, but. Go ahead. Um, well, Bill was always into a challenge. If somebody yeah. told Bill that he couldn't do something, it made Bill always want to do something more, I think, yeah. you know? So Bill used to always say, well, if I, you, you tell me I can't do that, watch me, you know? That's and right. I, I, mean, I got the same attitude, yeah, man. No. I make it happen. That's yeah. it. Yeah. You got you to gotta do what yeah. you got to do, you know? Right. And, and Bill was always about having fun and everybody around him. He yeah. wanted everybody around him to have fun, you know? He knew, knew everybody, you know? I mean, he had a roller deck, a roller deck. In fact, I was looking through it the other <laughs> night. And I mean, some of the names in there, you know, yeah. they, they, it's just surprising, you know. I mean, I'm not talking about one or two roller decks. I'm talking about a half dozen in roller decks, you wow. know. And I mean, they're just loaded with famous people from back then. He always knew who to get in contact with, wow. you know. He actually started off um, doing flip side years ago, yeah. which was 13 episodes, and then he also, yeah, and then he also. Um, did a lot of work on another show that actually later became um, Saturday Night Live, you know, but it was too risque for television. Wow. So they actually cut the show and two years later it became Saturday Night Live. So Very cool. But, what, talk about like your fondest memories of uh, Bill and, you know, something that just like just stands out the most that you'll always remember about your uncle. Go ahead. Uh, Tell well, everybody. Well, Nobody heard. Uh, yeah. Well, um, Bill had this old purple Jeep when he lived in New City, and I can still remember him coming up to Rhode Island. Yeah. And he actually drove that thing straight in the ocean. I mean, yeah. we, uh, we, uh, we almost swamped the whole it? Jeep. I was in it. <laughs> oh, I hope you had your seatbelt on. Oh, yeah, I had it on. So, but, wow. You know, I mean, we, we flooded out the whole thing, and I'm saying, He's yeah. back in the house, and I'm telling him, you know, just drove into salt water. That thing's going to be a rust bucket in a year. <laughs> and Gene didn't yeah. see that. He would have been, what are you doing? No, we need you, right? <laughs> yeah, no, but, yeah, it was a lot of fun, you know. So childhood is definitely, definitely great, you know. And, yeah. You know, I can't, couldn't ask for a better uncle, you know. Yeah. Every week we got to have something showing up at the door, you know. And, you know, she just became a major marketer, you know. And I want to see some pictures one day, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you I got it. It's still somewhere some, around, yeah. Check it out. Yeah, so we'll have to break some out sometime. But yeah, it's still got a lot of stuff, actually. Maybe yeah. one day we can get together. Yeah, so. And I enjoy you speaking with you. Yeah. I spoke with you a whole bunch of other times yeah. over the phone. And I said, you know, I got to get Mark on. I got to interview him. <laughs> you know, tell everybody what you've been doing, though, these days. Have you been working on anything? What's uh, going on? No hey. projects. I really don't talk yeah. about things that I work See, on, you know. I, I'm still in the union. I'm doing construction and stuff. Yeah. Still going to a lot of shows. Still right. helping out people with certain sure. things. You know, getting yeah. names out and stuff yeah. like that. You know. Well, I see you here with Lydia. You yeah. Know, you're mm -hmm. going around and you're still part of the circuit. Yeah. You know, that's cool. Yeah. So. Yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, you know, I I basically come to these things because I enjoy seeing old friends and people I haven't seen yeah, in years. Yeah, so, yeah. and that's basically why I come down. Yeah. You know, and I have a lot of fun. You know, and a lot of fans like to say hello right. and stuff. You know, and every time I come down, I meet more and more. So. Yeah. You know, it's always a blast. Did you they know? come up to you and they say, "Wow, man, you're like, oh, think you're you're Bill O'Coin," or they say, "Wow, you look just like him." Yeah. But they know he. Uh, actually, it's funny because every once yeah. in a while, when I go out, people that don't know that Bill is yeah. actually past or say, you know, wow. still think I'm Bill sometimes. Yeah. You know, and they come walking up to me, yeah. and it's funny because a lot of them are from Europe or from Canada or right. stuff like that, and they, cool. you know, they just don't realize that he's past yeah. and stuff, and they actually think I'm him sometimes. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> You don't yeah. look a lot like him. I'm like, because I remember, yeah. you know, I met him yeah. at a Kiss Expo a while ago, and I got it on tape. I just can't find, yeah. I got so much footage of Kiss things and yeah. events and all these things. Yeah. Years ago, everything was on tape, so I had them all on tapes. Yeah. But I cannot, I don't know where the hell I put it. <laughs> and one day, I hope I find it. Yeah. I, I wish, I really do, because yeah. I, I actually got to interview him. And I hang out with him, and he's so cool. He yeah. was so nice guy, man. Yeah. And you're the same thing. You're yeah. like a carbon copy of the guy. <laughs> I want to um, thank you very much, yeah, man. Thank you. Yeah. You know? yeah. And you rock, buddy. Yeah, you rock, okay. too. New York rocks. Who rocks better than us, though, man? Come New on. New York rocks. Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. We rock. We, we rock, rock the best. <laughs>